My name's uh, Cam Mosley. I'm a police officer currently stationed at Mundubra Station. Back uh, in December last year, I was involved in an accident work where a um, drunk driver drove head on into the police car. As a result of that, that impact, I suffered a, um, a broken right leg, a fracture of my pelvis, and severe bruising. I'd basically been told that um, the next four to six months, I'd be um, basically sitting on my backside and not being able to do, it, do anything. I said to myself and I said to um, my wife Simone, who's you know, been great through all this, you know, very supportive of me, that by April I'm going to be back at work. I started to take control back on my recovery. Instead of being told what was a prognosis and how long it would take, I decided that you know, I'm going to control this and I'm going to have a hand in it. I was going to go stir crazy sitting inside, and I was, because I used to run, and I couldn't run anymore, so I had to do something. As soon as they took the plaster off, which was at uh, seven or eight weeks, I think it, I, they took it off. The next day, I, I started swimming in the pool. Emotionally, it was um, pretty tough. It came at a time, it was close to Christmas time. The first year we'd had all the family together, it was a big thing for Simone and I, you know. The first couple of weeks through Christmas, I was pretty much incapacitated because of the injury, so that put a lot of strain, not just on me, but on us as a couple. And when you're frustrated, you usually take those frustrations out on those who are closest to you. And they wouldn't let me go back to work, so pretty much every day I was in there annoying someone. I used to go in and read the email system and everything, so I knew what was going on, even when I was on crutches. We'd walk and she'd go down the beach at Coolum where we were living at the time and I remember one day she's gone up the beach with the dogs and I'd been sitting up on the, on the headland there near the park there not able to go up there because I was on crutches and she's on her way back and she's noticed I've worked out I can walk on the hard sand in crutches so I was down on the beach in the crutches and I started walking the beach as well in crutches. I think it was 27th they took the last of the pins out of my leg and then I could load bear on my leg and they said um, I still wasn't allowed to be operational even though I asked, so I was a month on light duties and then I wasn't allowed to go out and arrest anyone or, or jump in the car. By the end of the month I was operational, I was back at work, I put my utility belt back on and I was back in the car. You must focus on your family and not forget about them because without their support, without the support I had from my family, you know, in particular my wife Simone, my, oh, I can't say thanks enough to her. The best part about my turn to work, I was strong enough to walk down the aisle and marry my girl. There were concerns for a while even I might even have made it to the end of the aisle. Just because someone's injured or they've got a limp, they can still contribute. And you need to let them know that these people are still needed and give them something. I'm very surprised that I've, I was nominated. To me, it puts me in an opportunity where maybe if I'm able to pull this off, pull a rabbit out of my hat and maybe win, it'll put me in a position where, you know, it's you know, good on you for getting back to work, but, you know, I'm going to take my girl on a honeymoon and we're going to go somewhere and we're going to have a great time.